Right, hi. Uh, I don't know, mm, sort my hair out first. I don't know about you, it's a really chilly day here. We've got a frost here in the UK and um, we're all, I'm all ready to go out actually, but before I go, I thought, well, I'm dressed up a bit. i am uh, got my lippy on and my nail varnish on. I think I might go live. So here I am, I've got a few minutes before we need to go out. Um, so I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about what we can do with a cord maker. And um, I, I, if you don't know what a cord maker is, I've got two versions of it. This one, this is what I usually teach with, it's a latch hook. I teach latch hook crochet, it is new, uh, although I've been teaching it with, with local people. I had a big, a, a big group of ladies who, who were doing latch hook crochet and uh, some children locally as well and I'm, in a, I'm at the moment I'm in a school locally so that's all good um, oh and if, if you're watching this because I always forget by the end of the, by the end of the video but uh, if you're watching this um, do subscribe I think I've got about six more subscribers to go before I've got 500 five, uh, my target my interim target is 500 subscribers so I've got six to go, so maybe you might be the 500th one. Let's see how that goes. But when you, when you know that you get, you need to know how I'm doing these, when I'm putting them live, so um, you might get hit the notification bell. And uh, when you've done all that, uh, uh, comment. Oh, honestly, nobody comments on my videos. So if you comment, I will reply. And I just love to be able to talk to people who are doing this. And there's one or two people who do come on regularly and I say hello and we talk about a little bit about lateral crochet. So if you can do that, that would, that would be great. So let's get on with what we were on here for. Um, two versions. This one is the uh, two hook version and this one is the three hook version. Both of them will do cord and make cord. Okay. And um, I've, I've been on before and I've made all, I've shown you all manner of things that I use my cord maker for. This is the one I usually generally use and what I would recommend to do cord crochet with. Although I've done other projects with this one as well. So yeah, let's just um, have a look and see. One of the fir very first things I did was this bag, the string bag. And this is cord crochet. And you just need to use a, a slip stitch and hook under each of the loops and I call them bridges, hook under the bridges. And you start with a, a sort of flowery thing here with petals on and then you go around the petals, make your bridges and then it can be a nice st string bag there. And I think I did show this one before, but I've remembered. If you go on, if you go on my Instagram um, for cord maker you'll see that there's a face red and black face and that's done on canvas and i started to do another one it's one of my whips in progress and i don't know if you're like me but you might have whips stacked in a cupboard somewhere that you haven't actually been doing for, for months in fact i don't think i've picked this one up in a year so i i got the bag out the cupboard a few minutes ago and i thought well i'll have a look and see see how i was getting on so let's just sort of gently take it out of the bag and have a look what it is. Now it, it's supposed to be a face. I haven't taken it out, so I'm going to take it out now. So it's, this is the hair. And as you can see, I haven't got very far, but I do have a piece of paper that goes on the back here. Let's have a look, see if I've got it. Yeah, it's here. <laughs> here it is. That's the paper that goes on the back and that's what it's supposed to be looking like when it's done. I don't think it'll be anything like that, but we'll see because nothing ever turns out how I want it to turn out, especially if you're doing freeform crochet or latch hook crochet or whatever. You start and you've got good intentions of how it might fi finish. But as you can see, I use canvas and then I'm stitching these on with a, uh, the same colour. So we've got the hair all going here and this is the eye here. So we might, <laughs> if I have any luck, it might turn out a little bit back, like the picture. But um, here's some of the work in progress that I've got. So here we've got a ball of white yarn 
and here's the cord that I've got with it so this will make become part of the face so that's coming out of the box out of the bag so uh, then we've got I've got a ball of red I think if I pull that out I think if, I think if I pull that out I think it start the cord will start to come in there because there's uh, red there's blue Oh yeah, look, there's some small ones here, red and green. That's some red and green cord. And the, the blue, that's not attached to anything. And then we've got some nice pink. Oops, and another piece of cord has come out to attach that. Now that is attached to the ball of red, and it, as I pull it, it's coming undone, so I'm going to have to really sort this out. And we've got some pink yarn. And then we've got... Some purple and attached to that purple there is a purple cord so that is my work in progress and I thought I'd come on and show it with you today before I go out and um, let you know how we get on I, I will demonstrate just before I go I'm sticking all this lot back in its bag and um, I will share my progress with that at some point so there, that's that's it to start with. We'll we'll see how that goes. I think it's such a big project is that one um, that I haven't really got back to doing it. I've been so busy making cord makers and um, making teaching actually. I think the thing that I've done most in the last year is is try to get low. I've, I was on the internet doing my my YouTube videos like this. And I was also doing Instagram. I've also been on courses. I've put a huge amount of work into this over the years. And I, even my Facebook, Facebook group, that one, it, it's, I've neglected it a little bit. But that's called Crochet Art, if you're interested in that. So find that one. And um, yeah, I've neglected those, th those areas a bit. But while I've been neglecting them, I've been doing really busy with children in, in real life. I, I love teaching children. And, I, and one of the reasons I do it is because I'm sure when they pick up this latch, I just tell them, I say, this is your machine. It's like a little machine. And once they get started with this little machine, I tell them to control the stitch on the hook with their busy finger and they yarn over and pull it through. Yeah, and they can soon get going with making a... A chain and they've also started doing their wait a minute I'm just gonna attach this onto you and show you what you can do. Um they've also been using the card maker and this is the one that the children are using it's the one I, I, I recommend so here we go this is how to get started um I make a, a slip knot and you can put that on the nearest hook like that. And when I talk about your busy fingers, I did a few seconds ago, you you control that loop on there. If you don't, it goes up and down and all over. So control that with your finger. Point your finger, if you like, and then yarn it over. And pull that over and pull it back. And do the same again. And then by that time, you'll find it's starting to make cord. And... I'm going to make some cord on this is a flower made with cord i'm going to hook under you can either hook in or you can hook under and when you hook under you hook in under a petal or a bridge right so yarn over yarn over and i've just flipped that to make sure that it, that latch is going to close there and not get caught in the uh, in the cord and then pull that and then start making my cord and I need enough cord to go to the next petal there so that's what I'm doing now yarn over okay so uh, I sh should, if you want this even you count them but you don't have to right so that's going to the next into the next petal so I put the petal on the hook and I've got control of both the petal and my loop on the hook there that's what my finger is doing that's why I call it the busy finger it's got to, it's got a job to do basically 
yarn over just make sure that that latch isn't going to cut catching the cord make your slip stitch and carry on to the next petal so uh, that's I need to get my yarn free and there we go so I've done a few and I'm going to go into the next petal put a finger on those yarn over to make my slip stitch make sure that's not going to catch in the in the um, cord right and then yarn over and do, do what I just did now one little tip this does happen from time to time and you, you lose your stitches so if you lose your stitches the first thing you need to do is to make the loop the the loop yeah the stitch that you've just done the one that's leading towards your yarn here so that one the one that's going towards your yarn is that one so you make that one a little bit bigger so that's the one that's going to, towards this yarn that you're working with okay and if you do that you can make the other side a little bit bigger as well there so we've got two loops that are bigger than when you lost them and then you can easily very easily put your hook in there okay and then I think I've got them the wrong way around let's try it the other way yeah wrong one otherwise we get a twist I think in the in the cord so there we go I've put those two that are bigger so I'm going to just give that little yank and a pull so that we go back to the original state of being a bit smaller and then off I go again so that's a little tip there if you lose your stitches off the end of your hook make the stitch that's nearest the yarn that you're using a little bit bigger pull it through a little bit bigger and then I'm going to the next petal put that petal on your hook and yarn over and pull through which it's done it again look managed to catch it that time yarn over and pull it through and off we go again so there we go we're going around the edge of that um, let's see if I turn it around there we go and that is that is cord crochet okay you're crocheting with cord and slip stitch and you're going in, you can hook in to the cord which is a bit harder but we're making loops and we're making petals so that you can actually hook under and that's why it, it's it, you're able to do this so it's time I was going I have to go and post a letter uh, well, funnily enough I have to go and post one of these somebody's ordered one so if you want one you'll have to get in touch with me and um, the best place is on Instagram I think or if you just leave me a message on here on the end in the comments um, I'll get on to you and then you can you can see if you can order one of these if you're interested okay so that's it for now bye it's a fairly long video isn't it for me and uh, subscribe see if you can be one of those uh, more six more that I need to get to 500 and that would be great on my YouTube channel so bye for now here we go